Luke, how are you settling in? Yeah, um, I think I've settled in fine. The lads have been nice to me. Um, it's sometimes hard when you've got a new lad come in and you get straight into the team. Sometimes uh, the lads might not be so understanding, but the lads have been great to me here. Um, settled in fine. I think I've uh, played all right since I've come in the team and now it's just um, trying to concentrate on getting three points now in the next game. How big a help has it been to you having the consistency and starting every game as well? Yeah, um, it's always nice to get a run of games and um, I'm just thankful for the gaffer to give me the opportunity and I've come in and um, I think I've took the opportunity well. So I've been repaid by getting the starts in, in the next games. But um, yeah, it's always important when, when you're playing well, it's um, good to get a run in the team. Now you've had a run of games and you've been able to see a little bit about what League Two is about. How big's the step up, do you think? Um, like I said, when I first came in, I thought the tempo was was quite quick. But now, once I've settled in and um, played a few games, I think um, I've adapted well to the, to the um, the tempo and the, the quality of the game. So um, yeah, it's just just um, getting a few more games under my belt, and then hopefully I can progress. To watch, you look really relaxed, really comfortable. Do you feel that way playing in the team as well? Yeah, um, I think that's helped by the lads really around me. I've got experienced players around me like Tongi, Casey, Puey. I think they've like helped me into the team, but. I'm a, I'm a player who just plays with no fear really so if I've got confidence I'm, like I said I've played alright to be fair so that, that that gives me the confidence to go into the games um, with no fear Manager told us on Saturday you picked up a bit of a knock how are you feeling? Yeah just got a bit of a sore one on my foot but um, it's, it's getting treatment at the minute so we'll have to see going into tomorrow's game You confident for tomorrow? Yeah I'm Look, we're, I'm getting treatment on it at the minute, but um, like I said, with, with the right rest and rehab, then I'm, I'm sure I'll be all right. How big a game do you feel it is for the side, bouncing back from a, a day to forget? Yeah, look, it's, it's not nice coming back from a 5-1 loss or a loss in general at all, but um, every game now for us to the end of the season is, is a big game. We need to go into every game thinking it's the last game of the season and we need the three points, so it's it's got to put that to the back of our minds now, the 5-1 loss, and then go into Tuesday's game fresh. When you're on a bad run, fans start thinking, have we got the quality to get out of it? Have we got the players to get out of it? You get a better look than most, have you? This squad, of what I've seen, um, is better than any team I've played personally so far in this league. Well, I've only played four, but the squad that we've got is a big squad and there's a lot of quality going throughout the squad as well in every position. But um, the fans have got every right to be a bit annoyed with the games that we haven't won, but it's, it's down to us now to prove them right and keep them up in the League 2. And you know the manager better than most and you will be backing him at the moment because he's starting you every yeah. week. But from what you know about him, how well suited do you feel he is to guide a team away from trouble in League 2? Look, yeah, um, yeah I've, I've, like I said, I've played under him a while and I know how he works, but um, he's got the right mentality to get the boys together and it's, it's someone who I respect and I know the lads respect him as well. So it's, it's in the team that we want to do well for him and do well for the fans. So I'm sure that he, he can resolve the situation and keep us in the league.